Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome back to sort of an episode of, of what was on sale at the grocery store. And what happened to be on sale at the grocery store today was, uh, well, so I went to Blue Sky and they had uh, it labeled as ham steaks. Ham, but fresh ham steak. And so what they had were essentially just inch and a half or two inch thick slices across the leg, bone in, skin on. And so I took half of one and I've cut it up. And we're gonna use it in a soup. The other half I'm going to freeze and I'll use it somewhere down the road for something else. So as I was standing there looking at the pork, thinking, what am I gonna make? I figured I'd make myself some kind of a soup. So in this enameled Dutch oven, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil. We're bringing that up to temperature. So the week that I'm filming this, uh, the coming week, I will be working up at Chris's shop at the Edenvale Airport and we'll be doing some upgrades to Mike Victor uniform uh, to get ready for the summer flying season. So I thought, you know, a soup would be really great. I could put it in a thermos, take it there. I've got a nice hot lunch in the shop. It's still winter here. It's still kind of cold um, in, Chris's, in Chris's hangar. And I'm gonna do sort of a very loosely based soup um, based around a, a pizzole or a pizzole. Not really. Um, you know, if you've watched this channel before, I don't really follow recipes all that well. And even when I do, I don't actually follow them. I'm gonna take the basic idea. I'm gonna add in a bunch of stuff that I really like the flavors of. We're gonna put it all together and we're gonna see what happens. So into the pot, heat it up. In goes the pork. And I've just cut that in chunks. We just wanna toss it around and sear it. While it's cooking, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, not too much. Cracking some pepper. Okay, the pork has got a bit of a sear on it. It's starting to brown a little bit. This is the point where I'm gonna add in the next ingredients. So I've got a couple of chopped onions. I've got a couple of chopped up poblanos. That's the thing I love about this supermarket, Blue Sky. Um, they have an amazing array of vegetables that you don't really see at the mainline grocery stores, or, or at least you don't see at the mainline grocery stores around where we live. Next, I'm gonna put in some cumin and some Mexican oregano. And I've got a little can of chopped green chilies. Those go in as well. And yes, there are some soups or stews where I would have browned the pork, taken it out, and then browned the onions and the peppers separately and then put the pork back in. Uh, this isn't one where I need to do that. I'm going to, over the five or six hours, this simmers on the stove top. We're going to build incredible flavors. Okay, next in, some salsa verde. Um, I don't really measure. What is that, third of a jar? That's gonna go really well. I like the tartness that comes from that. And I've got some chicken stock. And in goes the chicken stock. So, it was about five cups of chicken stock at this point. I might add some later, so I'll reserve that. And as this simmers, I'll add the rest of the chicken stock. So I'm gonna turn this down to a low simmer, put the lid on and let this go for about four hours. Okay, busy day in the kitchen. I just took a mock apple pie out of the oven. It's chilling down. I'm about to make pet de sur with the leftover scraps of, uh, of pie dough. And I'm about two hours away from serving this stew, soup, stew, soup. So we'll give it a bit of a stir. And this is when I'm going to add the beans and the hominy. So we'll put the hominy in first. One can of hominy. And then the beans, I'm gonna use a mix of whatever I had in the cupboard. So I've got a can of pinto beans and I've got a can of black eyed peas 
and a can of navy beans. So I'm going to put those in, stir them in, and let this simmer. Here we go. Hey, Glenn. Hey, hey Prince. Oh, I'm pretty it's already a spoon. I'm so, all ready. It's going to be hot because it's right from the pot. I see that it's steaming. Oh, look at all those beans. But it's pork based. Oh, so. even, the, even, the, even the cup is hot. Yeah. <laughs> no, the bowl is hot, sorry. Oh, I don't even think I can pick up the bowl. <laughs> I'm going to get myself. Here, there's the hot mitt. Perfect. I'm good. There we go. Problem solved. Okay, so it's it's pork, beans, uh, peppers, tomatilla salsa. It looks like little exploded corns. Mm-hmm. Harmony. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. I really like that, but I like pork. Mm-hmm. Julie's not a huge fan of pork. I know. Tastes. It has a very pork and beanie kind mm -hmm. of flavor to it. It's very hot. I'm taking small mm -hmm. bites because it is super hot. It's got all those fabulous flavors of a really nice pork and bean. And, and yeah, because I of like the way it. I bought the pork, I got some cracklings. Ugh, you can have them. <laughs> so not having any of those. Not even going to try it. Let's not fool anyone. A very broad take on a, on a certain type of soup. You know, adding in my own things, whatever I had in the cupboard. What was on sale at the grocery store? Um, stuff that was in the fridge, all flavors that I knew I liked, all flavors that go together, sort of respecting the tradition of what this soup is, but it's my kitchen. I made it my own. So, um, this is going to do well for the next few days in the hangar as we work on the plane, because uh. it's going to be cold. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.